Now, the whole time uh, we've just been talking about holes in virtual conditions, internal features, but now we'd like to talk a little bit about external features. So what I have here is I have uh, a pin, and the pin is given a size tolerance, and then it's given a position to the datum. So the datums are uh, A is the face, uh, B is the long edge, and then C is the short edge over here. And they said that this pin is positioned within 12 relative to A, B, and C. So if you were going to look at the top here, what you're seeing then is you're seeing the pin. Now the pin, it has a position, so it means the pin could be here. The pin could be here. It might be there. It could be there. It might be there. It could be there. I don't know where it's going to be, but I have to account for all that for an interchangeable assembly here. So what I consider that to be is just a big fat pin that sits there at 265. Now how I got the 265 is what you do is now what you're doing is you're taking the largest pin, which is 253, and now you're adding how much it can move around. Instead of subtracting, you're adding. So you'll get a 265. Put this in really big letters so you could see it at the top here. Pins at virtual, they get larger. That's the real important part here. Pins at virtual, they get larger. So you want to take your biggest pin, and now you add your geometric tolerance there to get your virtual size. And I, I guess the big thing is, is when we say it doesn't really get larger, the pin doesn't get larger, but the space that it takes up, you can see that if I have a pin, this is theory, and I move it around, well, it takes up more space, so it appears larger, because if you're the engineer or designer and you're worried about how much space it takes up, you have to accumulate the size of the pin and then how much it moves around. Now, a hole, obviously, that would get smaller as it moved around. So you think about that for a second, it makes a lot of sense, right? The pins would appear larger, the space they take up, so the virtual would be larger, but when you're working with holes, as it moves around, the space that you're going to have inside would be less. And that's actually the, the next slide that we have here. So holes at virtual, they appear smaller to the mating part. So what we have here is we have a hole. Now, what would be the virtual size of that hole then? All right, so let's see. I, I work with, with the maximum material condition, and it says this hole is positioned within 5 at its maximum material. Maximum material is 240, so then it can get smaller by 5 because it can move around within 5. I had 5 less holes then, wouldn't I? So it would be 235. Well, let's see if he's right. He says we have a position of 5 for a 240 hole. That means the hole could be here, it could be here, and I'll move it in all these different places it could be. But you notice it never takes up any more space. It well, it never goes into that space right there that we need. That's 235. That's for the mating part, then. 